Today we're going to be looking at some of the coziest places on the planet. Places that make you say, wow, that's cozy. You're going to say that every single time. I'm going to pull something up and you're going to see it and you're going to be like, wow, that's really cozy. Wow, you, I did say that, Zach. How'd you know? Because I can read your mind. Let's jump into number one, cozy train on the winter. I mean, that just brings a smile to my face. Like, can you not just picture like a little wood burning stove in there? Just a nice little bunk blanket. You got just the slow sound of the train moving. Oh no, you hit someone. Doesn't matter. I'm cozy. Oh, did I just see a murderer or a serial killer out in the woods? I don't care. I'm cozy. Grab your coffee, your hot chocolate, take a sip. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to lay back down in this bed. Oh, did we just get attacked by terror? I don't care. I'm cozy. This is like all I want right now. Like in my real life, it's cold. It's like 62 degrees Fahrenheit, which is like negative 200 degrees Celsius for those of you that are British. You know, I got a sweater on. I'm cozy, but I'm not this cozy. I need a blanket for this one. Actually, I'll be back. I need to cozy myself up a little bit. All right, now we cozy. Now we cozy, people. I even got some tea right here. Look at this. This is an experience, folks. This is an experience. Please grab your nearest blanket and become cozy as well. Make sure your hands are covered. Girlfriend is sick, so I made us a fort to watch scary movies in. Wow, that is really cozy. You can't uh, you can't ever forget the blanket fort. It's something not a lot of people do. A lot of people forget about how powerful a blanket fort is, especially with your girlfriend. I mean, this one just has a special vibe to it. You got those fire hazards there sticking around everywhere. You're gonna forget about those when you get drunk and fall asleep. We've got the lights in the background, which in my opinion, break the coziness factor a little bit too much, you know? Like for me, I got these these big studio lights. Lights aren't cozy. Christmas lights are cozy. Edison lights are cozy. Those lights aren't cozy. The windows are open too and people can see you when your lights are on. There's a lot of issues with this one. I just, I'm a cozy expert. Look at this blanket. Do I joke about this? No, I don't. Candles are going to set fire to everything. People can watch you burn alive and die. There's just some issues here, folks. There's just some issues here. Ooh, an inviting backyard in the Berkshires. No, I don't know what the Berkshires are, but this feels like a painting. Like this is so cozy. It feels like a painting. I think coziness needs two things. Number one, cold everywhere around you, except where you are. And then number two, you can't be seen. Coziness means you're pretty much impossible to find. Like you feel safe like a cat in a box. Like that's me right now. Like some, some guy comes up and tries to kill me because he's hiding in my wall. Guess what? I got a blanket on, so I don't care. That's why you can't hang your feet off the bed. It's not cozy. Once you're on the bed and you're covered with a blanket, then you're safe. That's what this gives me. Look at this. No one can find you. You're in a little pit in the ground. You got a little fireplace, so it's probably cold. Just sipping some hot apple cider right there. Oh man. There's a whole vibe going on here. And it's just it's incredible. Like I can almost I can almost teleport myself to this place in my mind and like smell the air. It's like crisp and cold. You get like a little crunch of leaves in the background because a raccoon's walking by and you're like, oh, I'm scared of raccoons. You go back in and never use it again. That's weirdly specific. Oh, this one isn't real, but dang, does that one feel good, man. This is literally like my dream house right here. Like I've wanted to live in the mountains like this, like maybe even like a vacation home. Like I love rain. All right. I think it's one of the greatest things ever. It's so relaxing. And then you got your MacBook here. All right. Your cat book looks like a cat, some coffee, hot chocolate, whatever that is, a piano. I mean, dude, this is literally like my dream life right here. Like what I would do even for a week as a vacation, just to sit in the woods, no one around you. Look at this, guys. Again, that's the coziness. No one can find you. It's cold out, but you're warm. There are very important things to coziness. This hits them all. Dang, look at that. even the bed in the corner, man. They put like every detail here is just perfect, perfect and schlock. That's really what I'm talking about. I'm going to tell you why I don't like this. one. I'm going to tell you why this doesn't feel cozy. You're thinking to yourself, Zach, you just said there were two cozy requirements. I did. I said you can't be seen and you got to be warm when everything else is cold. Well, look at this one. Can you be seen? Technically, no. There's trees blocking it. But here's where, here's where it gets me. You don't know, all right? Someone could be at your window and just staring at you while you're watching your fire and you have no idea. To me, the feng shui is off here, all right? You literally should not have a window behind you or otherwise you don't know. What if you're hanging out with your girlfriend on the couch making out and your mom comes over and she just stares at you in the window and you don't know she's there? This is the kind of thing that cancels coziness immersion. This is a big zero out of 10 to me. At, at least some blinds, like some, something there's gotta change. I don't like that. You need to have a visual of the windows at all times. That's why there's a window in front of me. I don't want some creeper coming up and saying, oh, Loverfell's naked in here. You know, it happens. Oh. Oh, I like this one. Another coziness factor I'm going to add into this one, smallness. Like, like you can't have a big room be cozy. Like because the roof is so tiny here, this increases the coziness. So for the rest of this video, we're going to shrink my webcam down 25% just to show you how cozy I am. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's good. I feel great in here. Wow. Thanks, Joao. Joao, if you could give me a little bit of a fireplace to roast my little chestnuts on too right here. Just get a little roasting in there. There it is. Let's get some lights as well, like some beautiful little lights right above us here. Oh, this is so cozy. Oh man, there's something about cats too that just absolutely tickles my mustache. You see a cat laying down in the sun right there and that cat just, it's just cozy, you know? You got the, the grandma looking pillow here. You know, this is an old person. No one young owns this type of thing. What is that? I don't even know. It's like a donut pillow. Only grandpas own them and grandmas if you have one. 
your grandpa and grandma. I'm sorry. You got the plants. The cat's going to eat those. You got a little rocking chair. This is the kind of cozy that you can only find at a grandparent's house. You're not going to have this in your own house. But when you go to your grandma's, it's got that special little something and you're like, wow, does it smell like mildew? Sure. But at least it's cozy. I don't know why, but for some reason, a MacBook laptop adds to the coziness factor. Like maybe I'm alone in saying that, but like they've somehow branded the laptop into me assuming it's like a cozy machine. Like it's simple, it's elegant, but it's like, it, it feels like if you had a Windows computer there, it wouldn't feel the same. It'd be like, oh, this dude's like freaking working on a spreadsheet, but I see a MacBook and I'm like, oh, this guy's like an artist or something. Like this dude's like, we've got four key coziness factors. We've got number one, small, cold where you're not, warm where you are, MacBook, and protected, all right, protected, visually and physically. Ooh, how do I feel about this one, all right? This one's in Paris, which is a cozy city already. The book, the blankets, the pillow, they're speaking my language, I could see it. Then it's breaking my no window behind you rule, but then I feel like she is protected by the pillows and the breeze coming in, it's gotta be exquisite. I think rules are meant to be broken though, and this is a case where she broke the rule well. She said, she said, I don't need to know what's behind me. No one's getting up to me, I'm too tall. As long as there's no visual from this person onto her, I don't know. I mean, I'm looking out my window. Like, I can see people right now. Like, there's a dude walking out there with his grandpa. Oh, he's helping him cross the street. Oh, good on you, buddy. Oh, nope, nope, he's dropping him. Oh, just got hit by a car. Oh, oh. But yeah, I mean, as long as there's no visual line here to her, um, this is a safe bet. Otherwise, I wouldn't feel safe and protected. So I'd, I'd toss the coziness out the window there. Again, breaking the cozy rule here, but this one does it so well. You're not able to see in through all the plants and leaves, but you can see out. So you can creep on your neighbors. They can't creep on you. I'm giving this one a 10 out of 10 and the dog dog adds to it. This is, this is nice. I don't like the bed though. It's too messy for me. I almost skipped this one, but I had to come back to it because this one has got a really unique feel to it. I don't necessarily feel cozy here. And I'm gonna tell you why I don't feel cozy here because I think it's too cold. All right, look at that steam coming out of this thing. There, I don't see a heater. I don't see a fire anywhere. He's too cold to be cozy. You can see he's wearing a jacket. If this person was wearing a blanket, such as the one that I'm wearing, that's no longer protecting me right here. I think this would be a, co I think this would be a really cozy place, but you gotta have a blanket. You gotta have like a dog with you, a lap, like maybe a, a cat on your lap. Like you're missing something. You could do better with this. And it's too bright out. I think a cozy place needs to rain. If it's raining, we'd have a different story here. Oh, look at this one. Look at this one. It is one house away from being being my ultimate cozy place, a couch by the window, but you know someone's in that place looking at you when you're laying there. You can't lay in a window like that and spread out and not expect a neighbor to see you. Zero out of 10. Ooh, a video, a secret door that leads to a private theater. Let's take a look at this thing. This already feels cozy to me. <sighs> Deep breaths, guys. We're gonna make it through. Oh, that's cozy. How do you do this? Oh, it's, oh yes. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I need a secret room in my house. I feel like I'm destined to have a secret room after all the secret rooms I've built. Pool table. Whew, this one's speaking my language. This here is probably my all time favorite cozy picture I've ever seen. You wake up in the middle of the night, maybe just to go pee or get water or something. You look out the window and you see this. It's beautiful, silent. You have no idea what's happening until you look. There's no tracks on the road. It makes your bed seem more comfortable. Like I have seen this so many times in my life. You look out and you're like, yo, I'm not going to work today like stay home pajamas blanket hot chocolate watch a movie some disney like there's a whole there's a whole experience you can associate with this yo oh i'm looking forward to that this year bring that almost brings a tear to my eye <laughs> Ooh, I like this one. Look at this. See, I think the weather is more important than I thought because if this was a sunny day, I'd be like, nah, not cozy at all. But then when it's a cloudy, foggy, hazy day, then I'm like, yo, this is so cozy. You can't even, I can't even take it. I cannot even stand it. Why's it gotta be sunny today? This is gross. Give me some clouds. Like of all the days to be sunny, you gotta do it today when I'm trying to make a cozy video. Come on. That's just disrespectful to me. All right. Trying to make some good content for people and you gotta be sunny. Disgusting. If you haven't, make sure after this video, go grab yourself a blanket, wrap up, get some hot chocolate, make yourself your own little cozy place. Maybe post it on my uh, Reddit page so I can react to your cozy cozy places next time we make a video. As always, if you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button to join the Lover Reacts fam today. Hashtag road to 100k subs. Lick your screen. Be cozy. Peace.